All right, just want to do a quick walk around on this. Uh, of course, this is the build we just completed for uh, Charlotte Sutec, which you can see on our Facebook page, on our group. Um, but anyway, these are tomato plants. I um, believe I started these. She started some. I started some. She got some marigolds she started in here. Uh, she actually started that from seed outside the bed and moved it. You can see there's quite a few tomato plants here. We don't expect them to do much as far as bearing fruit. We wanted some greens in here. If you look right here, there are some blossoms. And we're going to try adding some supplements and see if we can't get these to go ahead and bear fruit this year. But you, know, you just never know. Uh, there's okra here. If you look inside, there's actually a baby okra right there. Not something we expected in this brand new system. The bloom has already come off this, so you have an actual okra there. We have one, two, three, four, five okra plants here that I actually started from seed. We stuck them in here, and they have done fairly well, considering it's a brand new system. And this poor bell pepper here at the end is not doing so well. Uh, garlic chives are not doing great, but they are still growing. Stevia. Some, it's either curly uh, parsley or curled parsley or it's uh, cilantro. I'm not sure which. Had to pinch a leaf to see, and I, I hate to do it. There's some more cilantro. I think that's, oh, this is the parsley, and the other was cilantro. More stevia, purple basil, or sweet basil. You'll see some insect damage on some of these plants due to the stress that these plants are under. Uh, we're just fixing to start a regimen of uh, uh, our natural remedies to, to take care of some of these pests. Here's some regular basil, also from seed. Everything here so far has been from seed with the exception of the parsley and the stevia. Everything else has come from seed here. More basil over there, more marigold. Um, and I take it back, there's also peppermint and chocolate mint in here that did not come from seed. Uh, this is peppermint. There's ball at Lowe's. Uh, some more basil. I'm not quite sure what that is. It was just something green that, that came from seed, probably a lettuce or something that we stuck in here just to have something. And right here, this unusual looking character, a couple of them, is actually cuts from a rosemary bush. Now I'll show you that rosemary bush in a minute if I don't forget. But if you look down in there very carefully, you can see the roots. This is actually rooting in the bed. Alright, see those beautiful little roots down there? So we, we took rosemary cuttings and we're actually propagating them in the bed. And this is a brand new bed with almost nothing as far as nutrition goes other than the maxi crop we've been adding. You can see our inlet pipes. We still have a little bit of work to do here. We want to shorten these up and uh, maybe put a little longer piece here just to allow this to flow directly into the rock instead of on top of it because we're going to get some algae growth. And I noticed yesterday there was some, so we need to do that. Just some more plants. Walk through kind of quick. This this is eggplant right here. I recognize it. This is eggplant right here. I'm doing quite well uh, in this system. Now remember, this is not for a typical system that's mature. This is a very immature system of a month and a half old. Here's some more parsley that was bought at Lowe's. Um, here's some purslane that was found growing wild and stuck in here. Right now it's not doing real well, but it does get an incredible amount of sun up here. Uh, this is on an open hilltop uh, with absolutely no shade until evening time, about 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, that's when it gets shady, which is why I'm here now. More chocolate mint, which has just gone berserk. Uh, like us, she, she enjoys putting chocolate mint in her coffee. She also takes it to work with her. Uh, she works with uh, some, some children with autism and uh, she takes it to work and I, I guess the kids love it. Another marigold and some more stevia and also some garlic chives again. Just a few of them but just enough that uh, just to get something growing in the system 
see how they do and go from there. Anyway, that's basically it. I've had a bunch of questions about how water gets here. The sump tank is down there at the very end of, of this bed, which, which we call bed number three. And if you pan around here, here's our fish tank. We had some video of that also. Uh, we just fed fish in there. We uh, have yet to build our, our permanent cover, but we will. This is the water inlet. So, let's open this up and show you. You can see the water coming in right here. And then it goes out through these three pipes. All right, and these are one inch pipes going out to the fish tank or the uh, grow beds. And what they do is they'll go down underground come right back up and then we have them valved here reduced down to three quarter and valved. Um, a lot of people have already asked us, hey, why don't you go one inch and then drop down to three quarter? The reason was to make sure we've got plenty of water flow right here so that when we valve these we've still got ample pressure to give us enough flow to start and stop these siphons. So it seems to work real well. The one addition we're going to make right here by our inlet is we're going to add a water flow about three or four inches above our actual, or not a water flow, but a, a water uh, overflow for this water. So if anything ever happens and this tank overfills, instead of coming out of the tank, it will go out through the overflow and back to the sump tank. Um, we've seen it get close a, a few times while we're having, you know, dialing this thing in, getting, getting ready for it to run full time. Uh, but other than that, it's doing great. One thing I'm really envious of on this system is, is location because of the sunlight. Our location is kind of in the woods and short of doing some massive clearing, um, we're just not going to get great sunlight. Now something I want to show you, this is more of a question for everyone because I've seen we've got it and other people have got it, but if you'll notice there on that stem of this okra, see it looks almost white in the video, I'm not sure what it's going to look like on, online that's actually a clear ball and they are all over the ochre stems both here and in our system and I've seen other people talking about it online as well they've got these clear balls on the okra we can't seem to figure out what it is so if anybody's got a, an idea of what that is is that some kind of insect egg is it something else let us know we'd love to know anyway that's all from true aquaponics and our system that was just completed, again, this is the system we just put 100 catfish in. Uh, and they seem to be doing quite healthy. I was shooting a video earlier, could barely catch them feeding, and then all of a sudden when I finished, they started feeding. So, just the way it goes. I'll try to catch them again later. Everyone have a great one.